hey capricorn i hope that you guys are all doing great i send you much love and light so happy to be back here with you for another love reading for september if you're new to my channel my name is lynn and this is passion and heart tarot thank you so much for choosing this video and thank you for being back here with me capricorn let's jump right in and see what is coming your way in september what messages will we receive how is your love life gonna look Okay, before I begin your reading, I just want to take a moment to invite the white light of the Holy Spirit. All right, Capricorn, let's see what is coming your way in September. So there's a lot of air energy coming through, especially Libra. I wonder if you guys have Libra, Moon, or Rising. Virgo's energy is here as well. Maybe you're dealing with the Virgo. Have Virgo, Moon, or Rising. I see a lot of power coming in for you. Feeling like you found your footing. You found your place. There's a lot of blossoming in your energy and like coming into your own as a person. For others of you that happen to be sensitives or maybe you're readers here watching, I see um, you becoming more in tune. You have a lot of guidance around you. And for all of you, I just see you um, getting in this energy where you're starting to like notice the synchronicities. You're starting to notice, um, how the numbers on the clock match up. And then you keep seeing like these, uh, angel numbers, repeating numbers everywhere. It's your guides around you. And I just see where you guys are going to become more in tune and listen to the guidance. So that certainly is a positive thing. I see. Where if some of you have been in this space where you just need time to, because I see where you've gone through this period of soul searching, doing a lot of thinking and being really open and honest with yourself. And that's not always the easiest thing to do. Some of you might even be um, getting counseling, therapy, that kind of energy is here or like really looking deep within and finding yourself. It's a beautiful thing. You guys are like your vibration is is raising and i see where you've learned a lot about yourself um and about the choices that you have made and maybe like certain circumstances that you were put in that you had no control over it's like you're starting to realize all of this and because of it you're becoming much stronger not letting your emotions get the best of you i see where you're in this position of just thinking very level-headed and making really wise choices in the month ahead. For those of you that have been feeling lonely, maybe feeling misunderstood, I see where there's a shift coming in for you as well. And you're going to start to feel like you are like finding yourself finding out where you belong. Sagittarius energy is also coming through, you guys, as well as an offer. An offer is coming in of something that is very solid and very serious. That's what I want you to know. That's what I can see. I see a lot of um like righteous anger that's here. Maybe it's this newfound attitude that you have of like, you know what? I'm only accepting what I feel is right. I see you holding people responsible making them take accountability. There's a strength that's all around you right now. 
There, it's like um, it's like a righteous anger that's here because you're like fighting for what you deserve, teaching people how to treat you, setting up boundaries. But you know what? All that does is help you rise to a higher vibration, which is why you're getting something that you've waited so long to receive. So there's a beautiful path that's opening up. So don't feel like you've been too hard on people. Or if there's someone that you've held accountable lately, don't feel guilty about that. Because what it's doing is like solidifying things. Um, maybe you're teaching someone how to treat you lately because maybe they've gotten away with doing certain things and now you will not accept it because I see like this energy of putting your foot down. And for others of you that um, have been alone for a while or are alone, you're getting something that you've waited so long to receive. And for all of you, it's because of the way you're like raising your vibration. If you take a look at that card, do you see where that third eye is opening, learning how to balance things? You've been very patient. You've been very understanding. And that is, is what's drawing in this positivity to you. It's the energy of abundance. Feeling like you have everything that you need all around you. So it's, it's beautiful to see like, um, you guys come into this space and how you're being rewarded because of it. Some of you might have even, um, turned someone down, refusing to take their phone calls. And maybe that's something that you never did before. Cause that's what I'm saying by the energy of teaching someone how to treat you. It's about setting up boundaries. And I see where if you haven't done this yet, Capricorn, you're going to muster up a lot of strength in order to do it. And it's like, you're not letting your heart get the best of you. It doesn't mean that you are cold or bitter or jaded. It's just about, um, boundaries, what you will and will not accept. And because you are so strong, you're attracting a person that has a lot of strength as well, who's going to bring balance into your life, who's going to bring something very stable to you. This is the energy of a, a commitment, long-term relationship. Some of you might even get a marriage proposal soon, especially if maybe some of you had to give someone an ultimatum, put your foot down. Especially if you feel like you've waited long enough for them to be committed to you the way that you want. I see a proposal coming in. And it's, you know, sometimes you just have to show people your boundaries. Teach them how to treat you. I see you having enough strength to do that. And I see where many of you are already like in that energy because of how far you've come. Sitting with yourself and not being afraid of the thoughts that come to you, not being afraid to be in your own company. That's actually so healthy. And for others of you, it's just like what you've been taught. Maybe new skills through therapy, through counseling. I see all of that energy here for you guys. And if you've thought about um, what it would be like if you were to actually sit down with someone one on one and get some therapy or get some counseling and you've been on the fence about it, maybe you can use this reading as a sign to you that it would be something that is actually very helpful for you. OK, I want to look at this hermit card because it's like an awakening coming out of a place of like being in a cocoon and like blossoming and opening up. I mean, just look at that power that you guys have. The initials B and J are also here. That could be significant to you. Let's look at this Virgo energy. Don't let your, um, try not to let negative thoughts get the best of you, Capricorn, because I see, um, I see it. And now this is especially for those of you that 
are like fighting for a certain connection and you want a proposal from someone or maybe you just want more commitment you want to know where you stand with them you want the connection to improve i see where you have a lot of angst and a lot of worry about like well if i go back to them what will it be like what will and some of you are even worried about what others could think of you and the choices that you make I see a lot of worry um, that someone is in because they don't, they're like on the fence and they don't know if they should go back to it or if they should stay away. Like, should I stay? Should I go? That kind of energy is here. Some of you may need to give this connection one last try. So you know that if when the time comes again to walk away from it peacefully, you can know that you gave it your all. Based on like the circumstances that you guys are in, you'll know how that speaks to you. Uh, strong Sagittarius energy is here. I know where some of you might have this fear of like, well, it didn't work out before. It hasn't worked out a few times. Should I go back to it? Let yourself think things through. Don't feel like you have to rush into a decision. Don't let anyone put pressure on you that it's really important for you to know that I see all of the strength that you have inside you even if you don't quite see that yet and standing up for yourself and being in this energy of a righteous anger teaching someone how to treat you it's not going to push them away it's actually going to make um it's going to make them respect you more so that's really important for you guys to know. One of the biggest messages here is you have to stand up for yourself and fight for what it is that you want, fight for what it is that you believe in. Okay? And and don't let any don't let anything get to you. You know, as far as worrying about what others think. You have to make choices for you. And we're all here because we have different uh, lives that we're living, different lessons that we're going through, and ultimately different things that we wanted to learn for our soul's perfection. So try not to let yourself feel judged by anyone. But you have so much strength and courage that's around you. So now is the time for you to go after what it is that you want to go after, even if this is like outside of love and romance, because I can just see where you're going to get what you want. If there's um, a new career that you've been wanting to go after, or maybe even like opening up your own business, venturing out, and you don't really know what's ahead of you, what's ahead of you is success financial success and stability commitment okay you guys i mean there's just so much positivity and you and when once you decide to fight for what it is that you want you are going to get what you want okay let's look at that knight of swords That's exactly what it is. It's funny the way that um, when you let yourself be in this place of like saying, this is what I deserve. I'm not going to settle for anything less. You take it or you leave it. It's crazy to see the way that that brings so much balance into your life and also into your love life. Because there is that six of pentacles where someone is um, becoming more generous, op opening up. I wonder if some of you are um, in this theme where you have to prove yourself over and over and over again. That's not, it's not a bad thing. It's just part of like your lessons and what you're here to learn and what you're here to teach others. So now is the time for you to not keep your mouth shut. Say what it is that is on your mind. Say what it is that's in your heart. And you'll be surprised that when you do that, the respect that it brings to you, whether that's like with a partner, with people around you, with colleagues or at work, because it's like a new path here is opening up. And it just changes the outlook of you. It changes the perspective. 
This could honestly even be what some of your, like the people that you're involved with, the person you're involved with, what they're doing. You know, I'm not implying that you don't know how to treat them or whatever, but I can just see where you have, if it's not your energy Capricorn, it's someone around you who is just like blossoming and they're really putting their foot down. So, I mean, for some of you, this could be reversed where you have someone who's maybe even giving you an ultimatum. Just know that um, where it all comes from. And the fact that they they want so much more from you, it lets you know how invested they are in you and just how they want to feel that that is the same energy in return. And I just know that if you were to comply with what it is that they want, you know, you'll do what you feel is best for you. But I just see a, a beautiful path opening up and something that you've waited a long time for, you'll receive it as well. You might even, your behavior, or your stubbornness, whoever this is, might even be the catalyst to make all of this come into play. It's funny how energy works like that. So what you have coming in is um, the energy of solid uh, balance and commitment, whether it's in the connection you're in now, or it's this new offer for some of you that I can see coming your way. And it's because of how far you've come. It's because of how um, you've been really open and honest with yourself. And that's not the easiest thing to do. So you should be really proud of yourself for how far you've come. Maybe you were someone who always got taken advantage of. And now you've just um, found your footing. Doesn't mean that you're mean or angry. It's about you teaching people how to treat you. So this is a beautiful lesson for all Capricorns. Because if you feel like everything's going great in your love life, that's beautiful. So this could be the energy of maybe like a family member or a work colleague or maybe even a boss that you just need to command more respect from. And once you do it, I'm telling you, it is not going to backfire on you. It's something that brings... I mean, so much balance and stability into your life. All right, Capricorn. So that is what I can see for you guys. A lot of focus on yourself and growing, uh, becoming more in tune with the universe around you, with your guides around you. Okay, you guys, so that energy is beautiful. I love you all so much. That is what I have for September. I'll be back with you all in a few days. Don't forget to like the video. And again, thank you for everything. I send you so much love and light, Capricorn. And I will talk to you guys soon.